Tesla's autonomous driving software has come a long way since the company first started pursuing this self-driving technology. Elon Musk first spoke about Autopilot 10 years ago in 2013, with the company releasing initial versions the year after. By 2016, Tesla had features such as automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and lane centering, which were built on top of Mobileye's architecture. But after that partnership dissolved that same year, Tesla was forced to rewrite the code base, losing multiple features as the company struggled to regain what it had lost. The new architecture was built on the NVIDIA Drive computing platform and known as Hardware 2.0. But three years later, Tesla transitioned to a completely vertically integrated solution, designing its own hardware chip, Hardware 3.0, which today is what the majority of Tesla's vehicles run on. But for a number of years, it didn't seem like Tesla was really getting anywhere with its software capabilities. Elon Musk had promised full self-driving multiple times, but it simply never panned out. However, in October of 2020, Tesla launched what now seems to have been the start of a huge turning point in the company's success with self-driving software. The full self-driving beta program was started at this time, allowing real customers to test out Tesla's cutting-edge new software powered by AI. But the customers weren't just testing it, they were also helping to train it, teaching it to get better by monitoring the computer's driving abilities and correcting any errors that would occur. By the same token, individual consumers would be uploading gigabytes upon gigabytes of driving footage from a wide variety of use cases, which only grew larger as Tesla continued to roll out the software to more and more customers. And so the quality of the new software was now improving at an exponential rate, which was difficult to see as exponential curves are generally flat in the early stages. Elon Musk got very serious about full self-driving being an AI solvable problem long before many others. Even today, competitors are relying on sequential code and dozens of different vehicle sensors in order to try and increase the accuracy of their poorly written software. But Tesla has taken a slightly different direction. In 2017, Elon Musk hired Andre Karpathy away from OpenAI and he became Tesla's director of artificial intelligence. The company also attracted and assembled an exceptional team of some of the most skilled AI experts they could find in order to tackle self-driving once and for all. Fast forward until today, and Elon Musk just demoed a 45-minute end-to-end drive using the company's latest cutting-edge software, FSD version 12, which is yet to be released to the public. He's also gone forth and revealed some major information about where he expects the software to be headed in the near future. Tesla is also planning to launch one of their most powerful AI training clusters today, and by the looks of it, 2024 appears to be the year when Tesla's ultimate goal, their robo-taxi network, will begin to take shape. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years on over 9,000 stocks, and it's all freely available. Elon Musk has said that version 12 won't be beta software. That typically means it has moved beyond the testing and development phase to become more stable. With version 12, Tesla would be more confident that FSD meets the desired quality and functionality standards they're looking for, and it would also be released to a wider audience. The goal, of course, is to be much safer than a human, and to be able to have a robotaxi, there can't be any critical human interventions, such as a scenario that affects the safety of the vehicle because there would be no one monitoring this system. Now, one of the crazy things about FSD version 12 is that it's running almost purely on neural networks. On Elon Musk's drive, the car passes over a speed bump, it moves around a cyclist, and it goes through a roundabout. But in all of these cases, he says, there's no line of code at all written for these specific things. It's all trained purely on video. There's no rule that says how far away the car should be from a biker, how slow it should go over a speed bump, etc. It's all based on the way humans drive and what video data has been fed into the system to learn from. In this version of FSD software, Tesla has deleted 300,000 lines of C++ code 
explicitly controlling how the vehicle maneuvers, and instead leaves it all up to the neural nets which have learned based on the data that they've been given. And that's why we've been saying on the channel that 2023 may be the year of the Cybertruck, but 2024 seems like it will be the year for full self-driving. Because with this new version of software, it's limited purely by training. Previously, you could have had all of the training in the world, but the code isn't running on neural nets, so engineering effort was the limiting factor in order to manually program how to control the vehicle. But now the car learns end-to-end -end by watching video, which is pretty mind-blowing, and limited by training and therefore compute power. In late 2024, Tesla expects to have compute power that will be roughly 42 times more powerful than what they had at the beginning of this year. This will be mainly thanks to Tesla's custom Dojo chip, for which they've optimized video data training. But today, Tesla is also bringing online a new cluster of 10,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. This appears to be their most powerful cluster yet, at least until Dojo catches up. A single H100 costs roughly $30,000, making this setup worth about $300 million. Tesla has been measuring Dojo based on units of A100 chips, which are roughly $10,000 apiece. However, an H100 is said to be up to nine times faster on training, depending on the type of workload. So in the best case scenario, this might be equivalent to adding 90,000 A100s, which seems to propel Tesla's compute power ahead of where they expect their total compute to be by early 2024, meaning that they seem to be very much on track to boosting their compute power massively over the next year. Their fleet also continues to expand, now residing at over 4 million vehicles with the proper camera sensors needed to collect the video data that Tesla will be using for training. This combination, along with the software now being an information sponge, makes it appear that the quality of the software, the FSD driving experience, will grow exponentially along with the exponential growth curves of these other overlapping aspects. Now, during the 45-minute demo drive, Elon Musk answers an interesting question, which is how do you control the vehicle if it's all neural nets and there's no more lines of code? And he brings up the example of making a complete stop at a stop sign. It turns out that drivers don't actually ever do this. It happens about 0.5% of the time where a human driver actually makes a complete stop. However, the regulators are insisting that the vehicle comes to a full stop so in order to achieve this type of driving, which technically conflicts with how most humans drive, Tesla needs to artificially curate and filter only for the 0.5% of drivers that stop and feed that into the system to be trained on. So this demonstrates that instead of changing the code as is done traditionally, now to make the system behave differently, you need to change the data. And so making sure that Tesla has a large, clean and diverse data set something they've been saying for years, is now more important than ever. Moreover, during the drive, Elon Musk experiences an intervention with the vehicle where it's not making the left turn the way he wants. First off, this gets uploaded automatically to Tesla so they can improve it. And he offers the solution as well, which is to feed in a whole bunch of videos of people making left turns correctly. And the system will learn from the video. So just think that over the next year, how much faster Tesla can move now that the code for controlling the vehicle is only 3,000 lines, which is very little, and just needs more data and more compute power to crunch these videos and train the system. It seems like Tesla has achieved Operation Vacation, as most of this cycle is completely automated. This year, Tesla is expected to spend over $2 billion on compute, and the same in 2024. Typically, compute power drops in price each year, and so even though the spending shows no growth, you should still get more bang for your buck in 2024. Elon Musk also emphasizes that the vehicle code is run locally and doesn't at all depend on a network connection. So if the connection drops, the car can still navigate just fine using its cameras. This is exactly what Elon Musk has been saying for years and really puts pressure on any competitors using HD maps, which most are, which require a network connection in order to get an updated map to the vehicles. If that connection isn't there, the vehicle may forget how to drive. Another interesting thing is that with the introduction of Hardware 4, 
which will likely make its way onto Tesla's higher-end vehicles including Model S, X, and Y, consumers are wondering if Hardware 3 will need to be upgraded in order to run FSD. However, this doesn't seem to be the case. Elon Musk says that the software is running just fine at 36 frames per second on 100 watts, and technically they could increase the frame rate. Tesla's custom chip which resides in every vehicle is capable of handling a faster frame rate on all 8 cameras. However, the cameras themselves can't go higher than 36 FPS, and so hardware version 3 will likely be sufficient for quite some time in running Tesla's latest and greatest software. Now Elon Musk also talks about the RoboTaxi network, which Tesla is likely quietly working on in the background to also coincide with more vehicles, more data, and especially more compute power all coming together at much higher levels next year. Elon says that if you upload your photo, which is optional, the car can find you in order to pick you up like an Uber. And so this is very interesting how Tesla is already integrating different features that will improve the customer experience. It seems that they're paying close attention to this and when full self-driving software is ready, Tesla will just be waiting, ready to launch the RoboTaxi network software. They're reimagining how ride hailing will work with an autonomous vehicle. It doesn't seem like most investors are getting this however because Tesla's valuation can mainly be justified with the sales of vehicles and their 50% growth rate targets for that division. However, there are some estimates from ARK Invest Kathy Wood, who has been very accurate on Tesla, suggesting that they could earn tens of billions, if not ultimately hundreds of billions of dollars on a robo-taxi network. Elon Musk is calling for one of the greatest asset value increases in history, but no one seems to care or perhaps even know about it. But that might be until now. Elon is starting to draw attention to Tesla's mind-blowing software with a demo drive garnering over 35 million impressions and over 9 million people directly watching Elon Musk's posted video. Something similar has happened at least twice with Tesla so far, where the valuation doesn't really reflect the intrinsic value at the company. And so Tesla stock does nothing for multiple years and then people are surprised when it shoots up hundreds of percentage points in a short period of time, which really seems to be a case where people begin to understand the value that the company has brought forth and allow the stock to catch up to the point of better reflecting the company's present value. Tesla's AI expertise also stretches beyond the transportation market. While transportation is huge, there are even bigger industries. Tesla is going after human labor in general with the Optimus robot, which also uses neural nets just like the car. And interestingly, something I said in our previous Tesla Optimus bot videos is that the robot will be able to train off of watching videos. So it can literally learn Kung Fu by watching hours and hours of video in a short period of time. Or perhaps you can show it how you want it to fold your laundry and in tandem with already being somewhat trained on how to fold, it may be able to quickly adapt and learn from just a small number of examples. Nonetheless, Optimus is a huge major value creator that stems out of all of the work that Tesla has put into FSD to get to where they are today. And so once FSD V12 hits consumer hands, I mean it may be hands free, we'll see that everything Elon Musk has said up until now, including not needing LiDAR or radar or sonar or HD maps, all of that will have come true. While competitors have failed to heed his warnings using some of these expensive technologies that have turned out to be a crutch, Tesla will demonstrate that it may be one of the only companies that can scale this software to its massively growing fleet of electric cars which are well known to have extremely low operating costs. Tesla is expanding its lead on AI, self-driving software, and robo-taxi network software such that it will become very difficult for a secondary player to catch up once Tesla already has a stronghold on the market. So considering the rapid advancements in Tesla's software and AI expertise that no other automaker seems to even be thinking about, do you believe the market adequately values the company's potential in autonomous driving and AI applications beyond just vehicle sales? Don't forget to watch my last video on how Nvidia's explosive growth may foreshadow Tesla's next big move. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. 
Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.